we're gonna decide where we want our new dart to be. And we're gonna draw a line into our pivotal point or our bust point. Marking from wherever you want your new dart to be, I'm gonna pivot the second dart leg, this dart leg, to where that first dart leg was. Hey there, welcome back to my channel where we talk all things practical, technical, and business knowledge for fashion professionals. In today's tutorial, we're gonna be talking about dart manipulation. I'm gonna be going through the two main methods that you can use to manipulate darts on your patterns. Let's get started. First things first, we need to prepare our pattern. I'm using the ladies foundation bodice pattern from my shop. I'm gonna print it, tape it together, and then cut it out. Most people think that the pivotal point is at the tip of the dart, when in reality, it's at the bust point. The difference between the two is about 5 eighths of an inch. So we'll need to mark the bust point and then redraw the dart legs. So let's redraw the dart legs. We're gonna fold over the dart with the excess pointing towards the center front. Put a pattern weight down and cut off the excess. This will give you the shape of your dart excess. First thing we wanna do is put a weight or tape down our pattern, and we're gonna decide where we want our new dart to be. So I'm just gonna pick here. You can choose anywhere on the pattern in relation to the pivotal point that we identified before, which is the bust point. So what we wanna do is we want to trace around to this other dart leg, so over here on this side, and I'm using a marker so that you can see better. So I'm going to just trace, and then, I'm going to use something sharp. You can use a pin or something else. And I'm gonna pivot the second dart leg, this dart leg, to where that first dart leg was. Then I'm gonna put my pattern weight down again, or you can retape it. So that's where that mark was here. And then that's opening up this dart, this new dart. So we wanna mark here where that um, original dart that we, that original point where we want the new dart to be and then just trace the rest of the pattern to the rest of the line. Then we can remove our pattern weight or untape it. And there we have where our new um, point is going to be. After you've pivoted your dart, you'll be able to see where your mark is. So mine is here and that's the bust point. So we want to redraw our dart legs. And then we're gonna mark five eighths into the center of our dart, and then redraw the legs. And there is your new pattern with the dart. So the dart will be here, your bust point is here, and we've closed the old dart. In the slash and spread method, you'll want to find your bust point just like we did before. And then marking from wherever you want your new dart to be. So I'm gonna pick here and we're gonna draw a line into our pivotal point or our bust point. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut a line from our original dart leg to our bust point. And you want to cut just to the bust point, don't cut past it. And then from where our new dart is, we're gonna cut another line and you want to cut to, but not through the bust point because we want just a little bit of paper there so that we can pivot the pattern. So back here to the beginning, we just have a cut here and a cut here. And what we're gonna do is we're going to put this, uh, put the main part of the pattern over the dart excess and we're just going to close the dart, tape it, so now you have your new dart opened, but again, we have to uh, draw our new dart legs away from the bust point. So I'm just gonna put a scrap piece of paper underneath and I'm going to just tape it down. I'm gonna measure 5 eighths of an inch into the center of my dart. And then I'm gonna draw my dart legs So here I've cut away the excess and I'm just gonna show you how to find your new dart excess shape. So we're going to fold 
on our dart line. The dart excess will be facing downwards in this area. So we're just gonna fold along this line. It's gonna be a little hard because I use construction paper. And then we're gonna fold it up to our other dart legs. You can either tape it or use a pattern weight to hold it down. And then all you're gonna do is just cut the excess and it'll give you the shape of your dart excess. So that is what your pattern piece will look like. If you're interested in learning more about pattern making, I always have a blog post that goes along with these videos with even more information, which is linked down below. You might also enjoy checking out these two videos. And now that you have the two dart manipulation methods figured out, you can use them to move your dart around your pattern to fit your garment silhouette the right way. Be sure to subscribe for more and I'll see you guys in the next one.